Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to implement a basic calculator using Java that supports addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division operations. So this video is helpful for beginners uh, who are just started learning a Java programming. So I'm going to write a logic using uh, control statements like EPL statement and switch case statement to perform all these operations. Well, this is the output of the program and user first need to provide an operator. Either user can provide an addition operator or a subtraction operator or a multiplication or a division okay user should provide only one operator at a time for example addition like this and then user need to provide a first number and then second number and this is the result of the operation that is addition similarly it is applicable to subtraction multiplication and division so this is a very simple basic uh, you know uh, calculator that we are going to implement in this video so we are going to create a new project uh, and uh, we are going to write this logic line by line coding in Eclipse ID. So without further ado, let's go ahead and let's switch to Eclipse ID and let's uh, write a program to implement a basic calculator in Java. Go to Eclipse ID and go to file new and then choose Java project and let's give project name as basic calculator and choose java 8 you can choose java 8 11 you know 13 or 15 as per the jdk installation on your machine hit finish and go to the src folder new and choose package let's view package name as com dot calculator dot java something like this and let's go ahead and let's create a class right click on a package new and then choose class and let's give a class name as basic calculator and public static void main method hit finish and get rid of this comment first we need to display the basic information right welcome to calculator and then following operations are supported like addition subtraction multiplication division so let's write the uh, code to print this basic information first. Let's use the sysout here. Okay. And let's provide a new line character. Let's go to the new line by using this new line character in Java. And let's write the message here welcome to basic calculator something like this okay and this should be after this we should go to the new line and here i'm going to just print this uh, copy this and paste it here perfect now let's run the program and let's see the output uh, here we go Let's write some more hyphens here. Perfect. Now let's run the program again and let's see the output. Okay, looks good. Now let's print a message like, like following operations are supported addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Let's again use the sysout and let's say following operations are supported okay and then after that there is a new line so enter the new line character like this after that one addition and let's give a symbol addition symbol and then new line up to that we have a second operation that is subtraction subtraction minus symbol and then we should go to the new line after that we have third operation that is multiplication 
multiplication and just write the symbol like this or star okay and after that we go to the new line and fourth operation is division it's pretty simple isn't it the division symbol and after that we move to the new line perfect now let's run the program and let's see how it looks okay it looks good and here is a space so let me remove the space yeah this one and if i run the program again and here we go okay we have successfully printed uh, this information on console now we will read input from the console for example we need to read operator first name and last name right so let's go ahead and let's create first uh, instance of scanner so in java we use a scanner class uh, to read a user input and one more thing is here i'm going to use try with resource statement to close a scanner class object before java 7 uh, we supposed to uh, use finally block to close the resources but in java 7 a try with resource statement feature is introduced and try with resource statement we can use to you know close the resources automatically for example here we are going to create an instance of scanner and we no need to use a finally block because try with resource statement will automatically close this scanner class object after using it and now what we will do we will read our operator from the user for that we're gonna use we're gonna capture that operator in a char type let's say operation like this and then scanner dot next dot we are going to read a character so use caret with the index zero okay good so before that we need to provide a message to the user like for example enter enter the operator operator must be plus or subtraction or multiplication or division okay the operator should be should be uh, uh, either either addition subtraction multiplication or division okay if user provides any other uh, operators then we should throw the exception let's write the condition here if if not equal to we to write the quickly condition here operations equal to equals to so this is the char type so we can use a single quote here or operation equals to subsection or operation equals to multiplication or operation equals to division so if if this condition one of the condition is true then we just provide a negotiation here if condition is true then we make a false and then we just provide us uh, you know system dot or print in here will say to the user like invalid invalid operator please use addition or subtraction or multiplication or division okay user should use either one uh, operator either addition subtraction multiplication or division okay uh, let us test this logic let me write the let me run the program and here i will provide operator plus it doesn't uh, print the message like this this one invalid operator please use 
plus or or minus or multiplication or division if I run the program and if I provide here other operator for example percentage then this should provide me a statement like invalid operator please use plus or, or you know addition or subtraction or multiplication or division okay sounds good now we need to read first name first number and second number from the user input for that what we will do we will use a double data type here the number can be a, a integer or float or a, you know decimal so let's use double here double number one equals to scanner dot we have next double uh, method so let's let's use it before that we will need to provide a, a message like enter post number all right and once we read a first number let's also read the second second number from the user input enter second number and let's use a scanner object to read the second number double let's say number two equal to scanner dot next double perfect now what we will do we will write the logic for addition subtraction multiplication and division so either we can use uh, if else or uh, switch statement okay switch case statement so when i use both the approaches first we'll go with the if else and then we'll replace from if else to switch case okay just write the logic here if if operation operation is nothing but the operator for example we we read a operator from the user input and we keep that operator in operation type right so let's check if operation equals to equals to addition then we simply add two numbers and print to the console okay we simply add two numbers and print a result to the console for example number one addition symbol number two equals to plus and then we add two numbers here number one addition symbol that is plus number two okay now let's test this logic uh, run the application uh, program and from the from the console provide the operator that is plus and provide first number 10 second number 20 and here we go the result is 30 now let's similarly do it for subtraction let's write the if else if condition here and operation equal equals to uh, here the subtraction and just copy this line of code and paste here and just change the uh, symbol from addition to subtraction number one minus number two and also change the format number one minus number two like this now let's uh, run the program and let us test this subtraction logic enter the operator and post number and then second number and here is the result 20 minus 10 equals to 10 okay so let's similarly do it for multiplication and division let's add the condition that is lzip and operation if the operation is multiplication then we multiply number one to number two just copy this line of code and paste it here and just change the change the symbol number one multiplication number two and also change the format okay let's run the program and let us test the multiplication logic enter the operator 
and post number 10 second number 10 and the result is 100 okay 10 into 10 100 now let's similarly write the logic for division operation equals to division and copy this line of code and paste it here and just change the operator now we have division operator number one divided by number two and also change the format that's it and here we can add a else and here we can just you know uh, print the error to the console like invalid operation something like this if if any of one of the condition is not uh, true then this will print okay so this is how we write the logic to perform addition subtraction multiplication and division using epls we can do similar we can write the similar logic using uh, switch case statement as well so let us before that let's test the division operation enter the operator that is division post number 20 second number 10 and the result should be 2 okay that means uh, division is also working as expected now let's write the switch case statement we will just replace this epls with switch case let me just comment out this code and here we're gonna write the switch case statement and the key should be an operator that is operation and post case addition if the operator is match with uh, addition then we just write this logic in this case statement i just copy the sys out this logic here and paste it here so this is for addition now let's add a case for subtraction and we can just copy the line of code from the subtraction condition from epl statement so this line of code and paste it here and after that add the break statement and let's add one more case statement for multiplication and we can simply copy the existing multiplication logic from here and paste it here after that add break statement and let's add one more case for division perfect and let's copy the existing division logic and paste it here and then break statement don't forget to add a break statement here and in a default section we can just copy this uh, this error uh, error message uh, that is from the else condition and you print it in a default condition so we have just replaced L if else with the switch case and yeah let's test this program now right click run as java application and let us test one of the operation like multiplication post number 10 second number 10 and it, the result should be 100 all right uh, we have successfully developed a very simple basic calculator using java and uh, the basic calculator supports addition subtraction multiplication and division operations